When we mention ladybug, you probably envision a small, round beetle with red wings and black spots. But here's the twist. Ladybugs don't always sport that iconic look. In their youth, they can resemble caterpillar-like creatures with long, pointy tails and an array of hairy spikes across their bodies, far from what you typically associate with ladybugs. It's a bit punk rock, really. As ladybugs mature, their appearance can become a kaleidoscope of colors, not limited to just red and black. Take the 22-spot yellow ladybird, for instance. It retains those classic black spots, but against a vibrant yellow backdrop instead of the traditional red one. Even within the same species, like Harmonia axiridis, ladybugs can come in various shades. And don't even get me started on the steel blue ladybug or the 10-spot ladybird with its crescent-shaped spots. Hold on tight because your perception of ladybugs is about to take a wild ride. Now, many ladybugs do conform to the familiar red and black look, like the seven-spot ladybird. But red, while lovely, isn't an everyday color for them, unless they're trying to send a message, particularly if they're poisonous. Some ladybirds produce a chemical called harmonine, essentially an alkaloid poison. Studies show that redder ladybugs proportionally pack more poison, which acts as a deterrent to predators. So, ecologically speaking, it makes sense that red ladybugs are more prevalent. They've learned to fend off threats and attract potential mates. But here's where the story gets intriguing. Just like red hair in humans, that red color in ladybugs is a recessive trait. Experiments from the early 20th century delved into the genetics of Asian ladybirds, exploring the dominance of black versus warmer hues. Through crossbreeding, they discovered that black coloration was the dominant trait. This dominance was evident. If either parent had black, the offspring inherited it. So, even though we often see red ladybugs, they need multiple recessive alleles to sport that much color. And guess what? They can still have black spots, and the number of those spots depends on the recessive genes they carry. Further research revealed that a transcription factor called Pioneer is the key player in ladybug spots. Without Pioneer, ladybugs end up mostly red or orange, devoid of black spots. So, the spots you see on ladybugs are a result of pioneer expression. Ladybugs follow an intriguing pattern in inheritance. The offspring inherit all the black color patterns from both parents, much like if you had freckles all over because both your parents had them. This can lead to overlapping and uneven spots, which might seem odd but are entirely natural. Now, what about ladybugs that are predominantly black with only a few red spots? Well, it turns out ladybugs can be either red with black spots or black with red spots, depending on the orientation of a small section of their DNA. This section being forwards or backwards determines their coloration. So whether you see a ladybug that's predominantly red or predominantly black, know that it's all in their DNA. Ladybugs adapt their appearances based on genetics and their environment. In fact, black ladybugs with more melanin are better at retaining heat, ideal for cooler conditions. In contrast, predominantly red ladybugs excel in warmer weather. These adaptations help them thrive in their respective environments. In the end, Ladybugs are fascinating creatures with appearances influenced by genetics, climate, and evolutionary advantages. So, next time you spot a ladybug or something that looks like one, you'll appreciate the colorful diversity hidden within this iconic insect. Like and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos like this one. Thank you for watching.